Now let us solve this variable entrant kmap. In this variable entrant kmap, we have three variables a, b, and c, and we have a complement. We consider a and a complement as separate variables whenever we are solving a variable entrant kmap. So if you have a variable and its complement, consider them as two different or two separate variables. So let us take the first step. What is the step one? Step one is take all the variables in the map and put zero in those locations and get a value which is one. So we are going to get this one. In the same map, this is x, this is y, z. You take all the variables instead of a keep zero, instead of b keep zero, instead of a complement keep zero, instead of c keep zero and rest is same. Now for this make a get a SOP expression. So here we can make a subcube like this. This is a subcube and this subcube will be representing yz. This will be representing yz. Okay. Then we take the step two. What is the step two? Take one variable into the kmap. Any one variable. For example, initially we start with a. Then we do for a complement. Then we will do for b. And then we will do for c. Take a variable. Keep it as one. Keep all the other variables as zero. And keep the original one as don't care. So this this step two we are doing for the variable which is a. Okay. So keep the variable a as one. Keep the variable a as one. This is x. This is y z. Keep it as one. Keep all the other variables as zero. So here we have zero, 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 and keep one as don't care, don't care, zero and zero. If you have one, keep it as don't care. Now uh, get an SOP expression for this. You can get an SOP expression. You can make a subcube like this. If you make a subcube like this, then this subcube is denoting x complement z. Therefore, the SOP expression for this step two is a dot x complement z. Then take for step three. What is the step three? Take another variable. For example, next variable assume is a complement. For this a complement. Uh, Keep a complement as one. Keep everything else, every other variable as zero, and keep one as don't care. Keep one as don't care. Okay. So keep this a as one. Keep a, b, and c as zero. Keep this one as don't care. Don't care. Zero and zero. This is x. This is y z. This is y z. Now you can make a subcube for this. This is a subcube. What is the expression for this subcube? It will be representing x complement, and this is representing y. And this is this we create for a complement. Therefore, the expression for this is x complement y a complement. Okay. Now do for step three. Step three is take another variable. What is the next variable? Next variable is b. We are creating for b. We are creating for b. This is x. This is y. Z. Take b. Keep it as one. Keep all the other variables as zero. This is zero. This is don't care. This is don't care, and this is zero. Okay. Now try to create a subcube. Can you create a subcube for this? Can you make a subcube for this? Because we have created, taken b. We uh, kept b as one, and all the other variables. As zero, and then take one and make it uh, don't care, right? So for this, you can see we cannot make a subcube for this. So this subcube is actually representing x, y complement, z complement, and you combine this with b. Therefore, it will become b x y complement and z complement. Okay, now take the next step. Take the next variable. This is x. This is y z. Only one, only one variable which is left is c. So take c as one. Take other variables, keep them as zero. Take one, keep it as don't care. This is don't care. This is zero, and this is zero. This is for c. Try to make a subcube. Try to make a subcube. So the subcube which we can get is this one. So this subcube is representing x, y. So SOP expression for this will be. C dot x y. So we took all the variables and we tried to find what is the SOP expression we can get. 
so the last step is step 5 is take the or of this step 5 is take or of all these expressions the first expression is yz next expression is a x complement z next expression is x complement y a complement plus next expression is b x y complement and z complement and the next expression which you can make is plus c x y plus c x y now in this complete expression in this complete expression we have one redundant term and that redundant term is this one y z this one is redundant this one is redundant why because we have taken this one twice we have taken this one twice how for example we made this uh, combination of this one here as well as we created a combination here so why i am saying it is redundant because if you take this one then this one can be written as a complement plus a so the, if it is representing a complement then you took this one with a complement and then if it is representing a then you took this one with a so you have taken this one twice so uh, because it is already covered by a and a complement both the expression therefore you don't need to you don't actually need to uh, take this this one is redundant you can eliminate this one so if you eliminate this one then the solution equation will become a x complement z plus x complement y a complement plus b x y complement z complement plus c x z c x y right so generally what happens is if you have a one which is covered by both a and its complement then this becomes redundant so in, in this one uh, you are covering this one with this one you are covering this with this one as well as you are covering here so don't need to cover with uh, an other levels so even if you have for example if we sh would have covered this a one with b and b complement then uh, this expression will become redundant because you are covering this one twice with the same variables right so this gets a redundant expression right so this is how you can solve an expression using uh, k maps now let us do one thing now let us we let us start the combinational circuit in the case of combinational circuit we are going to take the variables uh, the switching boolean expression against the switching expressions and with the uh, we are going to solve these switching expressions or uh, you can see we are going to implement these switching expressions in combinational circuit by using the gates and gate or gate nand gate nor gate xor and xnor gate 